this is Spike again. I am going to, uh, well, I get a uh, question on my uh, YouTube channel regarding uh, a comment in regards to the nature of demons and angels. And the question was if I could compare a little bit the nature of both. So I figured, okay, and since I'm a little more comfortable with uh, the uh, working with the uh, Goisha than I am with the uh, Shem HaMefarash, I believe it's pronounced, uh, I'm going to focus a little bit more on the uh, demonic aspects. Uh, I have chosen, uh, for, as an example, one demon in particular. This is out of the book Illustrated Goisha. Uh, Alistair Crowley's Illustrated Goisha, uh, page 195, Fapula, the 60th, 60th spirit. She is a duke, great, mighty, and strong, appearing in the form of a lion with griffin's wings. Her office is to make men knowledgeable in all handicrafts and professions, also in philosophy and other science. Now, she, uh, her astrological position is 20 to 30 degrees in Scorpio. And according to the book, uh, Angels, Demons, and Gods of the Millennium by Lon Milo Ducat, uh, her angelic counterpart is Hahuya. Uh, let's see. And Vapula and that uh, angel entity reside at the tarot card at Seven of Cups. Vapula's metal designation is copper, and her planet is Venus. Now, one interesting thing that I would like to point out before some of you get kind of annoyed, because I know that not everybody really cares to... I, I know a lot of people have uh, preconceived notions about who and what God is. Well, my position is that God is simply the impersonal energy of the universe. God doesn't really give a flying crap about uh, a lot of the stuff that goes on because God is simply the energy of the universe. I'll, I'll go into it at a later time because I don't want to offend anybody and it's kind of an esoteric concept. Uh, needless to say, God is not some big white guy sitting on a throne in the clouds. But of course, I assume most of you know that. Now, in regards to the angels, they are more in... My theory is that they stand for more of the energies of the spirit realm, of the external nature of the universe, whereas demons are more internal and are more associated with the physical realm. Which, uh... I will show you uh, how that works in just a second. One of the books that I've received recently is uh, Tarot Talismans, Invoking the Angels of the Tarot. But it has actually has some good information here about uh, demonology and the Goetia. Now if I turn to Seven of Cups, the key words are illusory success, debauchery, seduction. Venus in 20 degrees to 30 degrees. Now if I go down here to the uh, angel Heli Haihu, yeah, the 24th angel of the Shem Ha Mefresh, and yes, the uh, the numbering system in the Shem Mefresh and the Goisha are actually, uh, let's see, okay. Uh, Alistair Crowley's illustrated Goisha uses a slightly <clears throat> excuse me, different numbering pattern. And I think a lot of this is because uh, the various authors, number one, to some degree are trying to confuse the readers, only because um, if you look at the older works, such as the uh, Key of Solomon, the, uh, uh, shoot, I'm trying to think of the names of some of the older Goetic works, um, the ones created in the Middle Ages, frequently uh, left out certain information because it was either felt that it was not needed or that 
the uh, person who was educated enough to summon one of these entities would already know certain things. Like, for example, if you look at the uh, circle in regards to summoning an entity, there is no mention of an altar. But yet, at the same time, there is an altar. Uh, more on that, perhaps, later. Now, the angel, hallelujah, uh, his, uh, titles include goodness in himself, trust in mercy, etc. Function is, serves to obtain the grace and mercy of God, which in essence is to only move accordance with the energy of the universe. Uh, this angel governs exiles, fugitives, defaulters, protects persons against thieves, murderers, assassins, and dangerous animals. Now, when it comes, what comes to my mind, mind when I see the words, you know, obtain grace and mercy of God, how often do people, when they're feeling uh, as if, when, when they're faced with a problem, feel that the universe is against them? They feel that they're out of sync with the universal energy. <clears throat> and the purpose of that entity is to help one get back into sync with the rest of the universe. While at the same time, let's let's say somebody is suffering from poverty, and they, uh, you know, they summon this this uh, angel or whatnot, and it would it would say, you know, well, here's how you move into flow with the universe, uh, and then the person would naturally use uh, in order to manifest those in the physical realm, you would. Uh, summon the uh, demonic counterpart, Vapula, to uh, basically, you know, her office is to make men knowledgeable in all handicrafts and professions, also in philosophy and other sciences. Now, of course, if you wish to overcome something like poverty, becoming knowledgeable in handicrafts and professions and philosophy and other sciences is going to help you overcome poverty. Um, say you don't know anything about uh, anything, but that you discover there's a, let's say there's a need for uh, widgets, and nobody around the area makes widgets. Well, say you become educated about how to make widgets, and then pretty soon you're selling your widgets, and you're, you know, a widget distributor, and you're, you know, wealthy, and powerful and have a huge house and, you know, a great car and all this money and all this other stuff, and it's because you became knowledgeable in a handicraft and a profession. Eventually, you know, eventually the handicraft becomes a manufactured item, but still, still, um, you had to get the idea from somewhere. Uh, I, I'd go further into this, but, uh, some of the stuff I'm just going to have to kind of let you find out on your own. And I'm certainly not an expert on it, so please don't take my word as, you know, uh, written in stone. Because uh, I'm still learning as, as are you. So, uh, you know, happy summoning. And uh, if you have a question or a comment, feel free to uh, let me know.